Welcome back. Well, it's no secret that when it comes to being pregnant, you have to be extra careful with what you put in your body, including painkillers. Or are they okay? There's just so many mixed signals. And pregnancy expert Judith Schuler joins me to clear up some of the confusion. And that's really what there is, is people are confused with that's so right. many mixed messages. That's right. And today I want to talk about acetaminophen, okay. which is the generic form of Tylenol. And, you know, there's warnings about aspirin and there's warnings about ibuprofen because they can cause some bleeding mm -hmm. internally, um, you know, in your tummy. But we've always thought that acetaminophen was okay to take -okay. all the time. Mm -hmm. And we have found actually through studies that overuse of the medication um, can cause problems with a child in maybe as they get older, maybe five, six, you might see some of these really? the problems. And so what constitutes overuse? Overuse is one that you, it's kind of hard to, Explain. Habitual use, maybe? No, it's not actually <coughs> habitual use. It's using more than one product. As a wow. friend has said to me, one and done. When you get the flu or a cold, you go to get medicine. Mm -hmm. The flu is a wonderful example. You have aches and pains. You have a fever. You've got all these other symptoms. So you might take a pain reliever. You might take a fever reducer. And you might take flu medicine and all of those might contain acetaminophen. Right. And I've done it. I mean, I've taken flu medicine and then later said, oh, I've got these aches and pains, and then realized I should have read the directions or the um, contents to see what was in each one. And mm -hmm. that's how it is. That's, that's what happens. People overuse it because they're using more than one medication. And they don't realize that each product has it, they don't read right. the label. And so when you say it can cause problems for the baby, yes. especially as they age and you know, in, in their young years, mm -hmm. um, what problems are those? Well, we know that it can cause language delay and it can cause behavioral issues. Wow. And it's not just something <laughs> that will go away. Mm -hmm. I mean, when your child has behavioral issues, that can last a lifetime. Almost lifelong, life right. Yes. And so what else should women know? I mean, Advil, for example, let's talk about, I know we're talking about acetaminophen, but. Advil is, is, an, is ibuprofen, mm -hmm. and we recommend that you not use that not during pregnancy, okay. except under your doctor's supervision. Um, acetaminophen, what we want you to do is, because of the chance of overusing it, we want you to read labels. Read everything that comes with a product. Yeah. Read what's on, what it's, it contains. Most over-the-counter products, do you know that acetaminophen is in, in more than 200 over-the-counter products? So we want you to read the labels, we want you to read the package instructions, mm -hmm. because almost all package uh, over-the-counter uh, medicines mm -hmm. include package instructions for pregnant women. We want you to take one medication, only one to treat a problem. We want you to take it exactly as it's directed and only for three or four days at the most. Right. If your pr uh, problem doesn't get better, you really need to call your doctor and he or she will recommend what uh, you know course of action to take from there. But remember, when you take a medicine, so does your baby. Good point. Anything you put in your body, Anything like you I put said. In your body. And this time of year, you did mention it, flu season. Flu, flu season, shot. Yes. Can pregnant women get the flu shot? Yes, they can. They can get the flu shot any time during okay. pregnancy. And the thing is, I don't care if you're going to deliver next week, get your flu shot. It takes a couple weeks to give you a real the, good immunity, immunity right. but it may, some of it may pass to baby too. Definitely. I mean, the fact is, everybody should get it, not just pregnant women. Uh, I didn't know that they, they could actually take it yes. safely. It'll protect. Any time during pregnancy. Because if you get the flu while you're pregnant, I mean, that's just going to be devastating. Oh, not only for you, but had, for your baby. If, especially if you've had morning sickness in oh, the, gosh. In the, at the beginning of pregnancy, and now you get the flu. Judith, as always, very informative uh, Thank you. segment. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Alex. To learn more about your pregnancy, be sure to check out Judith's series of books. Just visit her website, yourpregnancybook.com.